Welcome back to the channel guys, you're here with Tripedal Reviews. So I plan on going through and doing a series where I take each algorithm of the Molecular Disruptor, the new version, which is version 3, and I go over them at great length. So each algorithm is going to have its own video. But before I do that, I kind of want to go over just an overview video of what the Molecular Disruptor is about. So to give you a warning, this entire video is going to be talking. There's a lot to cover in these algorithms, and I don't want to clutter up those videos with an uh, overview of what the pedal's about. So we're just going to get that out of the way to begin with. So the Molecular Disruptor is a pedal by David Rollo. David Rollo is an independent pedal builder that operates out of Belgium. And this guy is an absolute madman when it comes to developing pedals. My first experience with David Rollo... Back when I was heavily checking out Tremolo options, everyone would rant and rave about the Twin Peaks Tremolo. And back then it was extremely hard to get your hands on one. So at one point he held an auction and I just happened to win the auction. And I have to say, after getting that pedal, I was a fan. That pedal was so well thought out, had such great tone, and just encompassed everything I wanted in a Tremolo. If you know anything about me, you've checked out my other videos, I've been through probably at least a hundred tremolos. This one is just so versatile with offering harmonic trim, regular trim, trim that only applies to the higher low signals, and it was just implemented in a way that was just a work of art. So after that I started checking out some of his other stuff. And while I was looking, this weird pedal called the Molecular Disruptor uh, came up in my search. What this pedal is is basically a blank page. The new version here allows you to choose up to 16 different algorithms to load on this, so it's kind of like an a la carte system. You basically buy it, and then you tell David what you would like programmed into each slot. He programs them in and then sends it your way. So this can really be whatever you want it to be. He has phasers, he has reverbs, he has tons of delays. He has filters, he has synthy type patches, and every one of them is extremely versatile. So what may look simple on the surface is actually really complex. And this pedal is also really well thought out. For example, some pedal companies that implement expression control, they have no way of limiting the range in which your expression control sweep happens. And if they happen to offer a wide range of speeds with their speed knob, it can make expression control almost useless. Because on the slowest heel back setting, it's super slow, and then any slight movement of your foot is super quick, so there's no real range in speed between those two. It's just all on or all off. But on this pedal, for instance, you can control the max speed by setting your port 1 knob wherever you'd like it, and then the expression pedal only ramps between the minimum and the maximum speed. So super controllable there, and you can dial that in to exactly what you like. This isn't one that I generally plug in and just have a sound that I'm going for and I just leave it there. This is a pedal that I spend hours experimenting with. What does it sound like on a clean signal? What does it sound like with distortion? Now it does great at just standard sounds like vibrato and chorus and phaser, things like that. It can definitely do just general effects in the normal range, but where I find things the most interesting is when it's completely wacky. That's really where I enjoy this pedal. Even algorithms that sound like they're going to be normal just end up having a, either a range or a control set that allows them to do unnormal things. Now in my experience, typically I order this and then I will contact David Rollo and tell him what I would like as far as algorithms. He has them all listed on his site. And then he packs it up and ships it off to me. Typically it's actually been really quick shipping uh, to me in the US. It usually gets to me in under a week. Now the old version had only 8 algorithms you could choose, but this new version has a bank switch that allows you to get up to 16. And like I said, this can be anything from reverb to phaser to vibrato to chorus. He has a bunch of them. If you just want standard sounds, this will fill that niche just fine. But you're going to get hours and hours of experimentation with all the other stuff. If I had to choose a favorite pedal out of every single pedal that I have, this one would be it. It's just endless amounts of fun and... Even the crazy stuff sounds excellent. Sometimes you get effects that they sound crazy, but they don't sound good. They seem to be lacking in quality. Sometimes when you get tweakability, you lose quality in the sound. So enough gushing for me. I just wanted to kind of give you an overview of this pedal. I hope it helped anyone that was confused on what this was. And certainly check out uh, the rest of my demos on the different algorithms to kind of find out which ones you like, which ones you may want in yours if you happen to get one.
If you're into weird stuff, I'd also strongly suggest you check out some of David Rolla's other pedals like the Stamen and the Stretch Weaver. That is my opinion. Take it for what it's worth. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more pedal reviews in the future. Hope you have a great day. Thanks. Bye.